Hello, this is Dr. Hui Liu from San Jose, California, United States. My email is ibridgepy at gmail.com. iBridgePy is an easy-to-use Python platform to help traders to build algorithm trading robots. It can backtest and live trade with inter interactive brokers, Robinhood, and TD Ameritrade. You can download iBridgePy from www.ibridgepy.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because more tutorials are coming. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to modify orders using iBridgePy with interactive brokers. The first thing we need to understand is the difference between orders and positions. Positions is very clear is that the stocks or any contracts that you are holding any positions, that's something in your account. The orders is what you have submitted to buy or sell some contract, but the order has not been executed at the exchange right now. And the modify order means we want to change the parameters of the order that has not been executed. The method we are going to use in the average pie is called modify order. Let's go to average pie API documentation to take a look about this function. Let's go to average pie documentation. And let's go to Modify order. Modify order takes a few input parameters. The required one is order ID. Order ID is a string. So you can change the following parameters. You can change quantity. So what you should do is put the new quantity there if you want to change it. You can change limit order, a limit price, stop price. TIF means time in force. You can put something like day, which means the order will be removed if the order has not been accepted within the day. GTC means good till cancel. You can put some order reference, which is a, a free text you can put so that you can recognize the order you place. OCA group means one cancel all group. You can put a new OCA group name there, which is a string. OCA type. OCA type at the interactive broker, it takes three values. Cancel all remaining order with block, proportionally reduced with block or with no block. So you can update, you can modify the following values of your order. Then in the demo, in the demo, the first step is to place an order. Second step is to find out the order ID of that order. Third step is to modify that order. The last step is to verify that order is modified. Let's switch to iBridge Pi. Go to Spider. So first, let's show example, uh, show positions. There's no current order right now. And let's place an order. So when we place the order, we want to place an, a limit order. The limit price is 249.99 cents for SPY, 100 shares of SPY. Current, right now, SPY is trading about 280 something so that this order will not be executed so that we can change, modify the order later. So let's place order. Okay, you can see the order ID is IB32. The status is submitted. Amount 100, limit price 249.99 cents. 
and then we want to modify the order. Let's restart. Let's go to show positions. We want to modify order. And order ID, order ID, what's the order ID? Order ID is IB32. And I want to change the new quantity. to 200 shares. Let's run it. Actually, we write the modif modify order in show positions for easier. Then let's run this file. Okay, you can see at the beginning of the function, at the beginning of this code, the order ID IB32 amount is 100. And then because I write a modify function there and a new quantity is 200, which means I want to change the amount from 100 shares to 200 shares. You can see modify order IB32, I want to change to 200 shares. And after that, you can see IB32 status is submitted and amount is 200 already. And the limit price is still the same. Also, if we want to change, we can change multiple things at the same time, let's put new limit price equals to 240. Let's run it. Let's go to run it, see how it goes. You can see modify order. We want to modify the limit order to 240, same order ID. And also, we change the quantity from 100 to 300. After the modification, we can see the limit price is 240, and the share of amount is 300 right now. And then, thank you very much. For any questions, please send an email to ibridgepi at gmail.com. If you need any help on coding, please check out our well-known render coder service. More tutorials are coming. Please don't forget to subscribe. iBridgePy is an easy-to-use Python platform to backtest and live trading. Thank you very much.